uh, while we were protesting here in Kenya, the protesters were running the streets with police officers, uh, chasing them, uh, robbing tear gas, sending out live ammunition, which is illegal, and also uh, rubber bullets and many other weapons of mass destruction. Uh, Kenya had also sent police officers to Haiti. And I think in Haiti they have already been threatened by barbecue. So they landed or they arrived in Haiti International Airport on board Kenya Airways. So the story is quite interesting and we shall be following up on this story uh, to make sure we um, update you on what is happening around the world. So basically the police arrived in uh, the airport in Haiti, but, but uh, it's called what? The capital city. Uh, but the prince, I think. Uh, so, Kenya has sent the first badge of police officers to Haiti to help with country, to help the country deal with um, uh, the gangs and bring peace. Violent gangs control Haiti's capital, and over 580,000 citizens have been left homeless across the country as gangs fight to gain control. So there is several gangs fighting to control. Like 80% of, uh, of the capital city of Haiti is controlled by gangs. Haiti had to help, had, had asked for help uh, from the international community some two years ago. This mission will be, the, the, will be read by Kenya, but there are other countries uh, such as Chadi, Bangladesh, Bahamas, Benin, Jamaica, which will join the police to bring peace to the country. This mission will cost uh, $600 million every year. So it's an expensive affair. And uh, today, I think barbecue uh, was against this uh, peace mission, uh, which is led by Kenya. So he was chanting uh, war songs against the the Kenyan police and the other police officers who will be arriving in the country uh, soon. So basically, this is not going to be a bed of roses for Kenyan soldiers, but we shall monitor the situation and see what happens, when and where, in terms of the police who have been sent to uh, Haiti. So this is going to be a different ball game altogether because in Kenya those policemen are uh, used to chasing people who are not harmed. But in Haiti, I believe from the stories I've read online, uh, the policemen are well harmed. No, the, the guns are well harmed with AK-47 and with several other weapons. So we will continue watching the situation to see how it unfolds by reading news from the Haiti publications and also following up what is happening from other sources. Otherwise, thank you very much for tuning in to Kerosi TV. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment and share. See you in the next episode.